This video is brought to you by Jab.se, the lead supplier of MMA gear in Scandinavia. BetSafe.com, Europe's only online betting site for MMA. DirtyRebel.com, your destination for casual MMA wear. This is Marcus Corbett with Studio MMA and MMA Knit, and we're here with uh, someone that is making the pro debut but been around the game for quite some time, Kiana Rain. How are you? I'm doing very well, Marcus. How are you? I'm good. I could pretend that we're sitting here and we haven't met before and <laughs> do this all formal, but we have. I've seen you since day one. Since day one. You were the first to believe in me. I had to beg you a little bit to <laughs> believe in me, but uh, I showed up and um, you took me under your wing and you showed me around and I'm indebted and grateful. I appreciate it, really. Thank you, and, and but more importantly, you believed in yourself and you had a few fights in the beginning, both mm -hmm. MMA and Thai boxing, yes. that didn't go your way. Mm -hmm. You were still all smiles, you loved the game. Loved the you game. You kept on fighting. You weren't fighting to perhaps be a world champion and, and to make a lot of money. You fought because you really enjoy fighting. You have passion for fighting. I found a way to open my heart and fall in love again, and that is um, falling in love with fighting and, and all the relationships built along the way. But I do have to say, even though it's not about the money, um, the goals are always for number one. And uh, whether I hit number five or number 20, the aim is always number one. And let me correct myself, <laughs> you do hold three belts as we speak, so it's not like you're not a champion. Thank you. <laughs> um, but it was a little bit rough in the beginning when you started. It is. It's been a little bit rough. Um, it's an emotional journey. But, I, you know, I say if you can be defeated by defeat, then you are never undefeatable to begin with. And so this is about learning, not only about fighting, but ourselves. And um, if I've done anything, it's... it's learned. Uh, You've learned a lot, you've come a long way and uh, you're making your pro debut this Saturday yes. in Kansas. Kansas. But we're not in Kansas yet. I had to say, <laughs> sorry, I had to say. We're not in Kansas yet. Not we're yet, still, Dorothy. Uh, not yet. <laughs> we're at Black House in Los Angeles, we, it, which is one of the homes of, your, of you. You travel a lot to train. You really are dedicated to this. Um, one, where do you train except from Black House? And two, where do you find the time to travel to all these places? I train uh, in Venice at Verdun Combat Team. I train here at Black House. I train at King's MMA and also at Rain Training Center. Um, and the furthest one being Rain, about 60 miles from where I live. And, and if you're not familiar with Los Angeles, there's a lot of traffic here. There's a lot of traffic and I spend a good portion of my day, half of it's training and half of it's driving. And it's really just, it comes back to all for this hunger to know. I'm such in a space of seeking knowledge and I've been afforded an opportunity to learn from the very, very best. And all I want to do is make them proud, let them know that their investment in me, their time is not ill used and it's uh, appreciated because the most we can invest in anybody is time. And, and how is it possible? How can you do this? How do you find the time to train as much and as hard as you? And for anyone, by the way, that doesn't believe her, how hard she trains, can we just take a quick look <laughs> at this? First of all, you're a woman. As we know, naturally, women have a higher body fat percentage. Yes. This is, and, and can we talk about your age? We can, absolutely. How old are you? I'm 38. And you should because it's an inspiration. And a half. 38 and a half. I've reached the, you know, when you're two or three years old, you get to say, and a half, and I've gotten to the point now. Only in the fight world am I old, not, not in real life, um, that I get to add the half back. But I'm, I'm thrilled. I, I, you know, people say, you move like you're 18. I say, no, I don't. I didn't move like this when I was 18. I move like I'm 38. So don't take that away from me. And don't take that away from anybody who wants to go out there and change their life. Because you can. And, but you have to start by walking before you begin running. And that's how I started. I started walking, literally, before I began running. And, uh, and here I am. Dream come true. <laughs> now, you said change your life around. And you said learn to love again learn to, to walk and, and to, to get into to something like this. Where did it come from? Where did you start? And where does Kiana Rain come from? Uh, Kiana Rain was, was an athlete as a kid. I played, my first love, my first heartbreak in life was basketball. Um, I played everything. I, I just spent a lot of time with boys and hanging out and soccer, all city player, all of that stuff. And then 
Uh, I don't want to say I got lost along the way because I entered then my artistic life and was in the theater and it's acting that brought me to LA, but I really, I spent about 15 years of my life hanging out, drinking, smoking, men folk, uh, <laughs> gambling. So I like to say I've, I've survived and come out of all of that gratefully uh, well, because not everybody gets to. And uh, I changed my life around all for positive things. If you're going to be addicted to something, be addicted to your health. If you're going to love something, love yourself first. And um, it's just, you know, fighting has, has put itself on me like, like a boyfriend that wouldn't just get out of my way. Just, it hung around. And I couldn't help but love it in return and respect its being there for me constantly. And this is just the beginning. We've got years ahead of us. So it's, it's exciting times. It's exciting to know I'm going to be a different fighter than I am now, a year from now, and a year from now there. So, so you're planning on fighting for quite some time? I'm going to fight until somebody beats me up really bad and says, it's time for you to stop. And then I will stop. <laughs> and now you're making a pro debut. Even though you've been fighting tough enough and you fought some real legit amateur uh, with amateur organizations, mm -hmm. this is your pro debut. This is pro debut. Uh, and it's not just a pro debut. You're making a pro debut for the w biggest female MMA organization out there, Invicta FC. And, uh, and an amazing fight card. It feels a bit like... Um, I was almost going to say the big boys, but it's not. It's the big girls. It's the big girls. It's the big girls. Uh, it feels like I got to be in the NBA draft. And I say NBA because back in my time, there was no WNBA. So... <laughs> It feels like being drafted. I could have pro debuted at a number of different places, but I am incredibly honored that an organization as uh, amazing as Invicta and as picky as they are have offered me and come knocking on my door this opportunity because we are going to battle and it's going to be fun. And um, win, lose, or draw, I always say she's going to feel me and so will you. It'll be good. It'll be fun. <laughs> and it's not like you haven't been in there with the big dogs. Yeah. Would that be uh, big female dogs, I guess? I guess so. We can take that even further, but I am not going to be the one to do that. <laughs> Me neither. But um, you, you are here training with Jessica Penney. Yes. Tiffany Van Zost. Zost? Zost? Van Soest. Soest. Um, and uh, some of the best females out there yes. in both mixed martial arts and Muay Thai. Yes. And I, I'm here, I see you every day, so uh, I know you hang with them. Yes. So Tish, who will be in front of you on Saturday, if she doesn't, if she does underestimate you, she'll realize on Saturday that she shouldn't. And if you can tell Tish something right now, what would that be? Underestimate me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I like being the underdog. They are... They're younger, they've got more training, they're bigger, they're faster, they're better, they're stronger. All I know is they're not me and that's all I got. So whatever happens, let's have some fun, Tisha. Let's put on a show and let's battle. Let's, let's, let's take it to the cage, let's take it to the ground, let's throw some head kicks, let's be violent in the cage where it's allowed and uh, let's make an impression and a positive one and let's keep inspiring everybody who looks to us for some sort of hope and some sort of dream. And Victor has given girls some place to dream towards, so let's keep the dream going. And uh, talk to us a little bit more about your opponent when it comes to her game plan, her fight style. You know, she's, she's a well-rounded fighter. Uh, people, my whole thing is this, when I walk into a cage, I walk in believing in myself. I don't feel like you should step inside there if you are afraid, so I am not afraid. I respect my opponent, but I also respect myself. And she is um, an accomplished fighter. She's undefeated in MMA. She's a, a title holder, I think a multi-title holder with Muay Thai. So, um, and she's, I think, a, a grappler, renowned grappler too with ATT. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I think the point of MMA at this level especially is to try some things on and uh, you know, adapt, being able to adapt within the fight has always made some of the best fighters extraordinary. 
So I'm not necessarily going in with a very specific game plan. I'm going to adapt to the situation and um, bring, bring, have some intentions. But we'll see how it goes and uh, fix what needs to be fixed and handle what needs to be handled in the cage at the time. And for you that don't know Keanu Rain, make sure to tune in on Saturday, October 6th, for Invicta FC. And yes, Keanu Rain is a real name. <laughs> uh, it, is, it, is, it is an amazing fight name, though. Thank Keanu you. Rain, <laughs> making her pro debut for Invicta FC in Kansas on Saturday. Thank you for being here. And just so you know as well, we're here at Black House. I just want to make this very clear. We're some of the biggest names coming. Lyoto Machida, Anderson Silva, um, Keanu, you are an inspiration to not just women, but to men, uh, men as well, including myself. So thank you for taking the time. Thank you very much, Marcus. Oh my God. Programmet presenteras av betsave.com.